the friends we are back in Granville and today is the day that they have the Mayberry and Lucy day so we're going to go in here and see what it's all about stay tuned yet. Got a car show. Pretty cool stuff happening it looks like. Yeah, should be fun. So I parked across the street. I'm going to walk over. Pay for my tickets and get in. Check it all out. Yes, I am. Mayberry Lucy Day. Cornbread Moonshine Festival, May 7th. <laughs> that ought to be a trip. So those of you that know me know that I love old cars. Forwards too. Well, that's a lot of motor in that little car. Three hundred two or three fifty one. This Elvis bought the very first car that Elvis ever gave away. I think that that right there is a Model A, and Elvis gave a Model A to Red West in Mississippi, and it would look very similar to this. I followed this car. It was in front of me a good ways coming from Gallatin. This is a 428 Cobra jet. She sounded good. Police cruiser. It says I got my oil checked at Wally's service. That's cool. All right, so let's head around. See what else. That's cool though. Except for when it accidentally calls. Oh yeah. Grandma's cough syrup. Four people coming in. I know, but. Pretend like it was looked like a wall from the outside, but it yeah. wasn't really a wall. It was false. Yeah. And those remodelers, they tore it down, and they there was a pole like this there, and there was this skeleton that looked this. This skeleton that looked like this. It was just like that. Yeah. It kind of creeped us out a little bit. We took a couple of photos, you know, for yeah, the Yeah, sent it off to the state capitol. They did a reverse Google image search, and guess who it was? Yeah, it was a 1923 North Carolina State hide-and-go-seek champion. Yeah. <laughs> he was in there for good. He wasn't coming out for nobody, was he? No. I wonder yeah. how long before they put the false wall around. I don't know. I don't know how he did. But he did, he did a good job. Though. I would I would have probably sat down after about six or seven weeks, but he was just where he was. Yeah, see, 1923, how it goes. <laughs> Boy, that's funny. That'd be yeah. almost 100 years ago. <laughs> what, 98? Yeah, like that. oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. 99 years ago. I'm pretty good at math, you know. My goodness. Yeah. yeah. You ever played hide and seek? Yeah, I've been. Besides the IRS. <laughs> oh, oh, no, we're not. Yeah. 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 Did you play hide and seek? I don't know. I'm not good at all them kind of games. I used to play a Red Rover when I was a kid. Y'all remember that Red Rover? Oh, Red Rover. Red Rover, Red Rover. We dared you all over, right? And the people run across there, but we used the razor wire. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It was like red bleeder, red bleeder. <laughs> <laughs> it was 
It was a mess out there. <laughs> if you won, you kind of lost. That's the way oh it was. Oh, my goodness. I had to kind of stay in the back like dodgeball. Yeah, you just didn't want to run across. I don't want to do that at all. Oh, my gosh. That's uh, terrible. <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. You know, Obi, he used to play a lot of games. You know, he, he'd be outside running around. And when, at church a week before, Obi had heard about Adam and Eve. You know that? I remember Adam, them, the Adam and Eve, you know, where they, God uh, took a rib from Adam. And, well, he was hungry. Yeah, well, <laughs> Obi had heard about that. He'd been outside running around playing with Johnny Paul and the other boys. They'd been playing, and they'd been running really hard. Well, he got a stitch in his side, and he didn't know what that was. But he came running in the house. And he said, Aunt B, Aunt B, I think I'm having a wife. Oh. <laughs> well, she'll take more than your rib. You get married. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Might take half your stuff if it don't work out. <laughs> little Ricky. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Yes, sir. I can't keep these things straight. I think they have earthquakes over here. Anyway, I was watching Lucy the other day, and that is him. Mm-hmm. That's cute. He was, but now, he was on the Andy Griffith show doing this. Mm-hmm. He was Opie's best friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Johnny Paul Jason. Johnny Paul Jason. Johnny That's Paul it. Jason. That is yeah. very cool. Yep. Yeah. And that is him. He was a professional drummer at the age of five or six, whatever. And he did kind of resemble Desi Arnaz. Mm -hmm. Not, I mean, not exact, but the closest they could get, you know. And then that's him today. He and his wife own a Christian ballet company. Mm -hmm. And... Um, it's 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 absolutely magnificent. Of course, you've been there, mm -hmm. so it is. It's absolutely wonderful to see uh, the shows that they put on. Amazing. And so this is your collection. Yes, but I, I did donate it to the museum. But you've been collecting for how long? How long oh, did it take man, you to amass 25, this? 25, 30 years. 30 years. Yeah. That's something. So now a lot of this stuff. These these are all old, original, original uh, stuff like the watches, the magnets, the lunch boxes, and stuff like that. That's new stuff mm -hmm. that people have, you know, made just to sell. But um, of course, the dolls, they're, um, you know, they're they're. They're, they're not from the 50s. Right, they're, they're more modern. They're new. Right. But, you know, it's, it's, it's great to see It's still them. Lucy. Mm -hmm. It's still Lucy, yeah. So these are some original things here. Tell us about this stuff. These are little Ricky dolls that we found in a, um, I think we found most of them at a yard sale. So this would be 50s. These would, yes, these, these would be uh 50s, you know, um, and of course, now, that is a picture of the real family, Lu Lucy, uh, Little Ricky, Desi, no, that's, that's Desi Arnaz Jr., right, that's what I'm saying, the real right. Little Ricky, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, now, do you know how many Little Rickies that they had playing on the show? I don't. Six. Really, six different ones. Six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They had that when Lucy had the baby. Mm -hmm. They had they showed a picture of a baby, but mm -hmm. it was not it was not Desi Junior. Right. It was not him. Then they had two sets of twins playing, so that's five. And then they found Keith Thibodeau. Right. And Keith, as a as a child, played the drums. So they, he was he was he was. The I'm going to ask him about doing the audition for them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He auditioned for Lucy, yeah. which was pretty pretty amazing. Yeah. So, but very cool stuff. I enjoy it. Yeah. They, I, my husband told me. He said, "You see, you see these um, lottery tickets here." He said, "You know, we could be a millionaire." And I said, "We may be, but we're never going to scratch them off." <laughs> <laughs> so. There it is. They're there. 
And if there's a million dollars under them, there's just a million dollars under them. It's just there, but, huh? But they're there. No, but no one will ever know. That's that's funny. So. Thank you so much. Hey, you're yes, quite welcome. You come back anytime. Yes, ma'am. I rescued her a couple years ago. She's come a long way, but she's still in love. Yeah, I rescued my two dogs. Right, but they're the same style. They're the, they're the same. They're, uh, so if you watch the show, you're going to recognize this pattern. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's very cool. It's, well, it doesn't say it on that. It's got to say it on, it's got to say it on this one. It's very, very hard to see. It's Franciscan. Mm-hmm. They call it earthenware. Mm -hmm. You know. But that's, yeah. but that's the same vintage. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exact. And if you if you watch Lucy, that's what you, that's what you're gonna. Now see. these outfits are they original? No. no. So these are remakes from things that you saw. Yeah. I don't, now I don't know who did them. Yeah. I, I did not. How about those over there? No. I did. The, the same person that did did, did, did those. Did those. Yeah. Yeah. We've had we've had a lot. Howard McNear was in Elvis movies as well. He was in Blue Hawaii, Follow That Dream, and Fun and Nakatoka. Now, if you, if you, if you want to look like you're There's a lot of Elvis couch, ties. I'll show you how to do it. And with Elvis Travel and with Andy Griffith on tour in 55. That's Aunt B's glasses. Check. It's a paste stub as Aunt B. She got $168. Goober's hat. I did a show with Goober in Wilson, North Carolina. Mechanic, if oil dripped on it, it would soak the oil up and not get on your head. Now we have, we have, we have a, um, I Very cool. Scene from the Jinx and Griffith show was filmed at the 40 acre back lot. Trey and I have filmed there. We just haven't been there. I haven't put it out yet. I need to. But evidently there was a pond on the 40 acre back lot. So that's where some of these happened at. I need to get busy on putting this stuff out. Oh, 
the rapture of the last is on. You look like the day we got married. Oh, it said, you know, when my glass is off, so do you. <laughs> Miss Mayberry, come up here real quick. I want to introduce her real quick before I go and let y'all know who we This is Miss Mayberry. How about that? What else? She's available for pictures, and she's going to help us with the squad car nationals and trivia. Hail to thee, Miss Mayberry. <laughs> hail, oh, hail to thee. thee. Oh, hail. 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 This is Maddie. Maddie. How did you become Miss Mayberry? Well, you see, Otis, it was my turn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, she is honest. And she is from Gordo, Alabama. Gordo. And uh, if your doctor ever tells you you only have one year to live, move to Gordo. It seems like a lifetime. Thank you. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, Otis came out of the barbershop the other day. Did he? Yeah, he was all sad. He was crying. The tears were coming out. I said, Otis, sit down. What's wrong? He said, oh, my wife, Rita, is his wife. She got mad at him and said she wasn't going to talk to him for a month. What? A month? Yeah, and that was the last day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, that was the last day she was going to start talking. <laughs> yeah, he was talking about, That's you know, happened. Glasses and people looking like they were when they first got married and all yeah. that kind of stuff. I have, I have to get glasses pretty soon. Oh. They have a bed and breakfast here. A bed and breakfast. <laughs> Evidently, several of them. This is Miss Mendelbright's rooming house. This is Floyd's car. 1937. Chevrolet. Floyd's barbershop. What that is in there? So let's find out about Grand Deal. Dr. Luther Martin Freeman, friend, neighbor, doctor who dedicated his personal life and devoted his professional skills for 67 years to those he loved who gave so much and asked so little, whose real reward was well-being of those he served. He must have been the doctor here. Was this his office? I think this was his office. Pretty cool. some Civil War experiences here. That's the doctor's office. That's the good doctor right there. Bell. 
I had a molasses meal here. So let's find out about Granville. Settled in 1799, the settlers originally called this area Beach Hill. Incorporated in 1837, the name was changed to Granville. It became a booming riverboat town that included five general stores, a bank, post office, grist mill, blacksmith shop, ice house, funeral home, service station, hotel, barber and beauty shops, doctor's offices, and riverboat warehouses. During World War II, Granville served as a maneuvers training site for the United States Army. Up to the 70s, agriculture was also a focus of the town. Absolutely hilarious. Let's talk about your enemies. Let's keep our trap shut. Isn't that funny? <laughs> <laughs> you know that you're getting so much trouble if you put a billboard up like that now? Yeah, Ooh. it's true though. Yeah. And uh, what is that one? Picture. Uh, this the lady milking the cat. Yeah. Don't that's that's cool. Thank you. like a nice place, a lot of friendly people. And here's my dad, you gotta get him in the picture. That's him, yeah, work he, Carter? Yeah, he was plowing, plowing tobacco or a garden, one well, looks like tobacco made in here. Or something. Where is he going? Oh, it's kind of a hard life. Yeah. It, it helped me develop into a, you know. This one's, this one's a good one, too. Standing, Homer yeah. Reynolds. Homer Reynolds. Reynolds yeah. Standing yeah. on Standing the on it. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. That's a lot of great pictures. Yeah. Oh, uh, the Mayberry stage is right down there. Or is it? Yes. I think, yeah. yeah, at the car museum. Yeah. At the car mm -hmm. museum? Mm -hmm. That's where they have the, uh, that's, that's where there's. So this is a lot of textile. Somebody, what's she doing? I don't even read the glasses. Looks like she's washing, maybe. <laughs> yeah, she's running a washing machine. Mm -hmm. So this guy would come back here. He was here during maneuvers for World War II. And then he came back and just took photographs. It's really cool. That's a great archive of life here. You can date a lot of it by the vehicles. Mm -hmm. Look, 
Al Gore senator. That was when Al Gore's dad ran. That's way back. That's very cool. Yep. Thank you. So there's a picture line up right there. We're going to line that up in front of the store. And that one right there as well. I'll take some photos of that and we'll line those two up. Quite a bit of history here, friends. So if you get a chance to come in here, come to the Granville Museum. If you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.